when we poured the first brick of gold in April 2011, uh, you know, I remember walking around the pit and uh, I think Sean was a couple of steps ahead of me and we were kind of looking around at all the, the dignitaries and people and the machines and people getting ready to take pictures and we sort of looked at each other and said, geez, look what we did. Comme tout géologue, je rêvais d'avoir ma propre compagnie d'exploration minière et je vivais le rêve de faire la grosse découverte. Alors, ce qu'au tout début n'était qu'une petite junior d'exploration avec 100 000 dollars dans le compte de banque, aucun actif et qui tranchait à l'époque sur la Bourse de Montréal 5 cents. Well, since the very beginning, we started the Cisco in 2003 when we joined up with Bob Wares. Uh, we started to look for a bulk tonnage, low-grade deposit that we thought uh, should exist within the Archean rocks. I realized at that time that the Baltic was really very different. And it was not at all a judgment of the typical filial that we find in Abitibi. Ça présenterait un potentiel intéressant pour un gisement exploitable à ciel ouvert. Après les dix premiers forages, on était convaincu qu'il y avait effectivement un grand gisement à faible teneur. And then, as we evolved through the project, we were able to quantify Canadian Malartic as being the world-class deposit it is today with over 10 million ounces of reserves and another two to three million ounces of resources and significant amount of upside targets. You know, it's, it's one of the remarkable things uh, that we had the opportunity to do was to take a project from conception to going out with the intent to find something like Canadian Malarctic, actually finding it, and then having the ability to raise the money to build it, to commission it, uh, to operate it. There are very few teams that actually go all the way from the beginning to the end. I think certainly that was one of the unique things about OSISCO, was that we managed to do all of this by ourselves with the same team from the beginning. What I would say is that I would say 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 that I Ça a été une expérience fantastique de, de travailler avec une nouvelle génération de mines parce que ça a été vraiment beaucoup de dialogue, beaucoup de négociations, beaucoup de savoir-faire avec les citoyens. Cisco, uh, we were born in Malartic and we're part of the community and I'm very proud to say that I have a lot of friends in the Malartic community. You know, I started as an underground miner when I was 18 years old, so my appreciation of people in the field is that I've been there, I did that job. La direction de Cisco là. C'est merveilleux. J'ai eu des bons boss dans ma vie. Puis c'est vrai que c'était des bons, mais les autres, c'est exceptionnel. J'ai jamais vu des boss proches de même des employés. J'ai jamais vu ça de ma vie. And I think that that culture is ingrained in our operations at Canadian Water. I think it'll stay there. That pride will continue on with Agni Konyamana. That will combine with the Canadian Water people and we'll get that continuity uh, in the culture that's been created there. Ben, autant les gens étaient inquiets quand Cisco est arrivé à l'Arctique avec un super projet comme ça, autant aujourd'hui les gens ils sont inquiets de le départ, de, de, du départ des dirigeants parce qu'on s'est habitué à eux, ils se sont habitués à nous. Il y a eu beaucoup de discussions que on a peur que ça, ça l'arrête, ça ne sera plus la même chose. particular moment, the most special to me, is holding that first brick in our hands. The mine 
team had done something very special that we weren't aware of until we got in there that actually put our names on the brick. That was a very, very special moment because it was really the culmination of everything that we'd worked on uh, up to that point in, in 2011. It was almost 10 years of work and we were you know, holding the proof that, that everything that we did was, was the right concept. The original one had 600 ounces of gold in it. Obviously, uh, the daylight of the value of Canadian Arctic has been appreciated with the hostile offer that was put on the table on January 13th. Subsequently, we were able to attract uh, two more bids from both Agnico and Yamana. Uh, the daylight of the value of Canadian Arctic has now gone uh, to $3.9 billion in the current transaction. I'm going to be frank with you. At the end of the Cisco, it comes to search, and it's not enough at all. Pasco est une des compagnies qui mérite sa position dans le temple de renommée des mines du Canada et du monde. Canadian Malartic est maintenant considéré comme la troisième mine la plus importante dans le secteur de fer mondial. Ce n'est pas, pas juste un autre projet, c'est Canadian Malartic. Et cette naissance s'était fait avec la fierté au Québec, avec Luc Lessard, notre Chief Operating Officer, avec Brian Coates, notre CFO, mais plus que ça. Et aussi avec l'intégration de les institutions québécoises, euh, comme la Caisse des dépôts, comme Investissement Québec, qui était avec nous depuis le début, la FSTQ. Toutes ces, ces institutions étaient intégrées avec notre société. Quand le temps était difficile, on avait l'assistance et le pouvoir de ces institutions avec nous pour avancer le projet. Je profite de l'occasion aujourd'hui pour remercier tous les gens de Malartic ainsi que les employés de OCISCO. Grâce à vous et avec vous, j'ai eu le privilège de construire l'un des plus beaux projets mini au monde. Je me permets de féliciter les Manarticois et nos employés, nos sous-traitants, nos collaborateurs qui nous ont permis de réaliser ce grand rêve. Canadian Manartic est un projet incroyable. La population de Manartic et de la BTB Témiscamingue ont collaboré pour assurer son succès. J'en suis très fier comme habitibien a long vie at Canadian Manartic. Well, I don't think there's anything that we will do in our lifetime for our team that's as important as what happened uh, at Canadian Manartic from 2004 till today. Um, this is a huge part of all of our personal lives, our team's life, and it's the most important thing that we've ever done. Uh, so, no, I don't think there'll be anything that can take uh, Malartic out of our DNA.